Uh, Dirt and Sprague here, Dirt Out. Uh, we were talking about this ranking list because it's that kind of time of the year. We got the Olympics going on as well. Uh, we talked a little bit about that in the first hour of the radio program. But Bill Conley, a good friend of the show, he put a list together of the top 25 college football players since 2000. I'll read a few thoughts at the Vancouver 4 text line, which is at 503-864-6326. Uh, they choose you right before, during, and after the sale. Visit them at Vancouver Ford. Dot com. We're also on YouTube. Good morning, YouTube, uh, 99.5 HD2, and, of course, the Odyssey app. Uh, so the top three players are number one, Indomitian Sue, number two, Baker Mayfield, number three, Cam Newton. Vince Young was fourth. Ed Reed was five. Okay. Tebow was six. Reggie Bush was seventh. I'd have Reggie higher. Bryant McKinney was eighth. Joe Burrow was number nine. Smoking on that Joe Burrow. Larry Fitz was number 10. Now, you can go through this list, and you see a lot of names that you're familiar with that had great college careers and mostly were amazing NFL yes. players. Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald. They are also on this Jadavian list. Jadavian Clowney on that list? Jadavian Clowney is not. Uh -huh. I think most people think Jadavian Clowney was good, but not quite what we thought he was yeah. going to be. Is that a fair thing? Yeah. He had the yeah. hit against Michigan, but... Uh, Deshaun Watson, I thought was a little low. Like, it, let's get away from the creepy stuff. Yeah, he was 16th. Kind of turned the Clemsoning term around. Beat Bama. Like, yeah, you know, had great years. Yeah, statistically. but then he got beat out by a freshman. No, he didn't. Deshaun, I thought didn't Trevor Lawrence. You're thinking of Kelly Bryant. Oh, he was the heir apparent to Deshaun after Deshaun went oh, to the I, NFL yeah. and then Lawrence. See, I thought came Trevor in. Lawrence came in. No, Watson okay. was he left on top, okay. went to the NFL. Uh, Kyler was number 18, which is interesting. Number 19, I this is one. There's a couple of these things I would argue with Bill Conley about. Not like argue, argue, but debate with him Did on. Did Mariota make the list? Devontae Smith should not be in the top 25. Devontae Smith was a good college football player. I know he won the Heisman. It was also a weird year of the Heisman. I don't know. Any of those Alabama running backs, I, I, I mean, their offensive lines were just. Well, Devontae's a wide receiver. Or a wide receiver, yeah, but. I thought you said you were back on our time zone. What, are you okay today? No. <laughs> Lamar was number 20. I'd put him higher just because, my God, Louisville football. Yeah, he was a one-man wrecking crew at Louisville. Was unbelievable. I'm not as big a Justin Blackman guy, but I also won't misremember. He was really good and really well thought of when he played. Uh, Mariota did not make the top 25. This is where you kind of start to I, – I disagree. He won a Heisman. He, uh, the numbers he put up, what he uh, – yeah, Mario did not being top 25. Come on. He was pretty special in college. I thought he was remarkable. McCaffrey isn't in the top 25 of this list. Um, you can go back and forth on some other names, but Mario and McCaffrey to me were like Jonathan Taylor. You can give me stats. Christian McCaffrey was better than Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. I watched him play. Jonathan Taylor was a good player. Really good. Wisconsin also turned out a running back like, <laughs> Every single year, McCaffrey was – Stanford's had some good backs. But McCaffrey was just completely different and probably yeah. should have won the Heisman over Derrick Henry. Um, I'll say this. The Reggie Bush thought is not you saying you should be higher. I don't necessarily disagree with you. I also am a big Reggie Bush guy, but I'll be willing to say this. I think Bill Conley got this right. I, th I thought about this a lot yesterday when I read this article, and I'm going through and I'm seeing why he has certain guys ranked where, and I didn't agree with all of them. Reggie Bush, to me, is the benefit of two things. One, they took his Heisman. It's just like you take yeah. a guy's trophy for the dumbest of reasons, you instantly build support for that guy. Two, he played on absolutely ridiculous, loaded yeah, USC teams. Now, look, I'm not – that doesn't mean he's not top five or whatever. We can agree to disagree on some of this stuff, semantics of where they're at placement-wise. Reggie Bush, and he had, like, obviously the monster game that everybody remembers probably the most is the Fresno State game. In that game, he had 294 rushing yards, 68 receiving yards, and 151 return yards. That was one game against Fresno State. We all, Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, we all have terrifying memories of Reggie Bush, the football player. And he was absolutely a cheat code. He was also a cheat code for a stacked team 
that like he benefited greatly from. That was a mutual beneficial relationship there where he was amazing, talented. He also gets the highlight package. It's hard to beat the highlight package, man. It just is. And so like I get putting Reggie Bush higher. Dirt, I actually got to give Dirt credit on this. He's been making this case for a long time. And Dominican Sue being able to win Heisman at defensive tackle, which he should have in 09. We'd never seen that. Like, that would have been the, the only example of a guy of that position having that kind of impact, and he was more than worthy of it. So we can nitpick over who's one, two, three, four, et cetera, or who's left off this list the way Mariota is, which is ridiculous to me. I think Conley got number one right. I think it's in Dominican Sue. He is, he doesn't play a sexy position. He doesn't have quite the highlight package. Like, he doesn't have a stop and start run on the sidelines the way Reggie does against Fresno State. And you can parse out who goes where. Maybe Baker isn't number two. Maybe Vince should be higher. Maybe Reggie should be higher. Maybe Ed Reed. I, I'll i stick up for Bill Conley at number one. I think he got number one right. I do think in Dominican Sue's 09 season, along with his career at Nebraska, is the best in college football since 2000. I don't... Yeah, I think... When you have a defensive player that is as dominant as that, and when they rise up and are con- and the only reason they're not the number one draft pick is just because teams are def- desperate for quarterbacks. But uh, he was almost unanimously the best, like talent, the best player on the board. He was unbelievable. I mean, yeah. If you go back and look at that Nebraska team, they had some good players, but like he was a one man yeah. wrecking crew at defensive tackle. I know. How often does a defensive tackle in that sport kind of carry a whole group? Now, there have been some great defensive tackles. You mentioned Haloti Nada at Oregon and you know there Aaron Donald is on this list in the top, I think, fifteen. But to do what Sue did that one year at Nebraska, I just I think it's one of those we don't quite give it enough credit. And because we don't have as exciting or flashy highlight package as Reggie or Vince or fill in the blank offensive player, it's not necessarily a pick that would get the most consensus. An update on that poll question, by the way, uh, I put it at dirt and spray. You can go find it uh, of the four who is the best player uh, since 2000 and Dominican Sue is tied for second. Reggie Bush is far and away. Number one at this at 54.4 cam Newton is dead last at 10.6. Very interesting results there. And then Tebow and Sue uh, are tied at 17 and a half percent on the poll question. It's a lot of fun debating these things about who the best player and how do you quantify it? And what about the team? What about the surrounding cast and the talent and all that stuff? Uh, but I thought Bill Conley, who he puts lists like this together, which are supposed to be fun. It's off-season banter. And Dominican Sue, number one. I am largely with people, though, that are texting in. Marcus Mario is a top 25 player since 2000. Yes. It's ridiculous. Yes. Like, what are we doing with that? When a Heisman at Oregon, he took Oregon from what they were. And they were really good prior to him. Elevated it to a level where we all thought they were going to win the national championship, especially when it was Cardell Jones. Uh, unfortunately for them, they they uh, come up a little short. But ultimately, Marcus Mariota not being in the top 25, it, it just seems like a, a stretch. Seems a bit ridiculous, in my opinion.